Good morning. We're at the Davis Arboretum on Auburn University's campus this morning, and we're going to talk a little bit about pruning crepe myrtles. Um, before we start pruning, there's a couple of things we need to make sure we have. One are, are good, is some good pruning equipment, a pair of loppers, a pair of hand shears, uh, uh, maybe a small saw. And we always want to make sure we have safety equipment. I've got a pair of uh, eyeglasses on and when you talk about eyeglasses you need to make sure they're safety approved eyeglasses not cheap plastic uh, eyeglasses that can cause more damage than it actually helps sometimes you want a good pair of gloves and mine are mismatched but they serve the same purpose and generally you want to have a, ha a hat and if possible long sleeves it's a little warm today so I'm in short sleeves anytime you prune any type of tree whether it's a crepe myrtle a fruit tree or an ornamental plant one of the first things you want to look for are dead, diseased, or broken parts of the plant. And we're gonna prune those out first, uh, just as a general rule to keep that plant healthy and, and uh, eliminate sources of where disease or insects could enter that plant. So as we look at this mature crepe myrtle, you see a couple of places where limbs have died and, and gone back to the trunk. Uh, this is a good example here. We're gonna come up and prune that back Another dead one over here we're gonna take out. And these pruning cuts are not necessarily shaping the tree or uh, aesthetics, but this is purely for the health of the tree and for maintenance of the tree. Now we're gonna come back and look for crossing branches, water sprouts, weakly attached branches to go ahead and prune those out. One of the positive traits of a crepe myrtle, especially the varieties that have sloughing bark, is the texture change and the color change of the bark. As this crepe myrtle has matured, it's kind of gotten a little crowded here at the base. Uh, and you see a couple of pieces that have grown together. And we're simply going to take one of those pieces out, open up the trunk a little bit so that it's a little more aesthetically pleasing uh, in the fall and winter so we can see that texture change and that color change of the bark. And pruning is a lot like a haircut. As long as you're not doing something unhealthy to the tree and it's aesthetically pleasing to you, that's what you're striving for. Uh, and when you get through, a lot of times you'll, you'll step back and look at that crepe myrtle of that tree and you'll see a branch or a piece uh, that should have been removed that you didn't see the first time. So take a second to step back, walk away, come back to your crepe myrtle uh, and, and look and make sure it's exactly how you want it to look.